Woke Pride. So there's been a backlash in America against the federal government and major corporations ordering everyone to not simply accept and tolerate diversity, but to celebrate it on a mandatory basis, or else you could lose your job. Here's all the embassies around the world ordered to fly Black Lives Matter and Gay Pride banners under Joe Biden. Here's the U.S. Embassy in Kabul, Afghanistan, shortly before Joe Biden let the Taliban take everyone's rights away, flying their ridiculous flags for Pride 2021 and Pride Month. You know what's odd about big corporations pushing pride on everybody is if Donald Trump and Mike Pence had gone to America's corporations and said, we order you to start pushing celebrations of conservative women and conservative African Americans and different things that we celebrate for the Republican side. Every corporation would have objected. They'd say, you can't do that. That's against the First Amendment. You can't order corporations to do what the federal government wants. That's un-American. But have Joe Biden in office for two years and every corporation jumped at the chance to ram pride down everyone's throats, figuratively, I hope. So, last month, Bud Light came out with this advertisement to counter their transgender wokeness of the Dylan Mulvaney spokesman they hired. Now, just watch, look at the visuals of this commercial and see if you can see a subtle message being very quietly driven home by Bud Light for their intended purchasers of Bud Light. Country music closing out the commercial. Country people having a good time. Where did the diversity go? Let's watch this again. Now the camera's making it very clear you should zoom in your focus on this young woman's hindquarters. The message is if you drink Bud Light, you will get to mate with that. That female will mate with you. And guess what? You don't need trans and San Diego crazy nuns and these other weird groups to be diverse. All you have to do is have Bud Light like this young man here and you'll have a harem of beautiful attractive young women showing up to have sex with you. This is the traditional message of American beer. And uh, wow, where's the diversity in this commercial? It's all a bunch of white friends having a white good time with white country music. Buy our beer, please. We don't like the $27 billion drop in market value. We don't like losing money. We don't care about any of the pride diversity messages our stupid marketing department told us to do because they were all good friends with Joe Biden and the Democratic Party. When a corporation is losing money, all of that woke diversity goes right out the door. Please drink our beer. Please have orgasms with these young, beautiful people. And celebrate non-diversity and getting soaking wet in the rain. All that's missing are the condoms from this commercial. Let's see this again. Look at, look at the camera work. The very first thing I want you to see is this woman's hind anatomy and her naughty parts. Wow, she's running, soaked in the rain, bouncing everywhere. Tight clothes, fit, healthy, beautiful. She didn't have any genital mutilation surgery. She didn't have any gender affirmation surgery. She didn't have her breasts slashed off at some children's hospital working for Planned Parenthood or the Democratic Party. This commercial is the opposite of everything politicians and their activist groups are pushing. Why? because Budweiser lost money. Their parent company lost money. They want you to spend money and buy beer and get drunk and make babies. And none of that has anything to do with transgender woke pride, Dylan Mulvaney or the, or the other 
forced social nonsense that the Democratic Party ordered every corporation in America to push and celebrate. Why did this become an order once Joe Biden became president? Tolerance became mandatory. Acceptance became an order. Because it's very simple. The Democratic Party does not want diversity. They want obedience and the power that comes with everyone obeying them. But it looks like obedience is not on the agenda at this party. It appears woke pride is less important than the almighty dollar. Thank you.